Peake blazes away centre half forward. Oh, oh look at that. Catch. Well, Stephen Green is picking the wrong man if he picks Morris Rio. Oh, left. I remember the derbies. I loved going to the footy in Fremantle. It always had a sense of mystery and enterprise. And it was homegrown football, the WAFL variety that really got the old town rocking. It was the great divide. It was East Fremantle and South Fremantle, two of the truly great West Australian clubs. Through the pack, goes out towards Dalmenico and Sewell! On a mark! Jim Sewell, don't lose the ball! And past Lacroix, up towards a full forward area, Joe McKay! Has he been paid that one? Kelly it is, the man! In this age of a national competition, with high-flying jets across the country, Fremantle folks always did it a little differently. No mark, well roped by Djakovic. Gives it to Hart. Hart snaps it goal with his left foot. It's coming back. It's a goal. Great kick that from Hart. And Moscone recovers nicely. Oops, the hand pass out to Best. I hit him on the back of the head. Let's leash him in. Leesham's left foot kick for goal. is coming right around. A great goal by Jared Leesham. So many of those great Bulldogs and Sharks of yesteryear not only shared a community, and for many years in Oval, many of them shared a workplace on the wharves as well. Over the years, the divisions ran deep as the camaraderie and the bitterness so often found its way onto the playing field. That was the prediction. Cormac hit behind the play and the blue and whites are showing what it's all about. Peak well, is in there, out goes Peak. He went out now you see that Capes and Morris have got a game on their hands. No, Sewell, no big partners there no, Don Haddo's come on as an emergency and he's caught that one. King and the game is really on. Whoa, whoa, we'll whoa, let the picture tell the story. Let's just sit back and watch the action. The turf war for Fremantle created so many wonderful memories. It's a tradition that defies the odds and lives on to this day. Sleeves, peaks down there too, but finally it's Lester Smith who emerges with the ball. Straight to Rioli, he's down to the ground. He lines up a deliberate shot for goal. It's a long one. He scores! Magnificent goal! Well, now East can break through with here. Cormac kicked the last goal. He won't kick it now because he's 90 metres out, but he looks for Sewell, who goes in running to open goal. Cormac could kick it and has. What a kick! 90 metres! Welcome to the latest instalment of Derby Footy. It's East Fremantle and South Fremantle. Anzac Round, April 23rd. Siren! Siren! The scores are level! <laughs> Can he win the game after the siren? He's kicking it in the breeze. It's a light breeze. Carter with a torpedo, it's a long kick, great kick by Carter! Oh, it's a point I think, South from Adelaide won it. Let's see whether the goal umpire waves the flag. The uh, umpire, yes, is consulting the goal umpires. One point to South from Adelaide. They've won the game, Noel Carter has won it by kicking a point after the siren.